97 Jeep Wrangler. When I get the track out, there's this part right here that I was using to grab onto, and I, uh, I actually I didn't want to tear it, so I took pliers and I grabbed. I'll just show you. I grabbed both sides of the track together and just kept wheeling until it came out. I didn't want to just pull on one side just in case I ripped something, so that's just a little. So I grabbed it like that and then kind of just wiggled and then I pulled the rest out by hand. So this track comes out. So there's a screw inside there to screw this piece to the metal door. And on the outside over here, there are screw holes there. Okay, here's the, the window regulator for the driver's side door of the uh, 97 Jeep Wrangler and I believe it goes to uh, 2006 as well. So it's going to sit inside the door. This hole right here is where this pin is going to stick out of and this will actually sit inside the door with these holes here and these holes down here. It's going to sit right like this at a slight angle and this is going to sit like that inside the door. The window actually sits on this side of it and it's going to sit right in these slots right here and then you're going to screw in, um, I'll show you how we screw into that later, but you're going to get in through here and here to screw in the, uh, the window. To get this inside the door you have to go through here, you can't go through the top, there's not enough room to get these brackets and stuff through that hole. holes lined up right here. You can see that. And then we have the holes lined up at the, at the bottom right there. And this will be here and the holes will line up right there. Okay. So there's six screws right here and it's uh, these use a 13 32nd socket. And I'm just going to start putting them in there. Leave it loose, right? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I'm not tightening these down all the way just to uh, so I have some room to move is all. My, my problem I had here is that the metal part of the shaft right here is what broke off. So just keep going. So for my particular uh, Jeep, everyone has their own issues. You getting this right here? Mm -hmm. So this, this broke the metal, the pin broke. So that's a lot of times people's door, the window handle breaks, but this is different of mine. So if you look at the window handle here, you have this little pin you got to pull out. Just like that, a little locking pin. And then uh, the pin would normally be attached to the Jeep, but that's the pin right there as you can see. So that broke on mine. I'm not going to attach this right now. Um, I'm just going to attach the, the, the door handle, the window handle back on here for a minute because I'm going to roll the window up a little bit so I can attach the window. So as you can, uh, can you film in here? So as I'm turning this, I'm pulling this this piece up here so I can get to the holes to screw. To, to, there's these plastic pieces here that are pressed up against the glass and you have to be able to screw um, to, to tighten it in so the metal is not, you know, 
push it on the glass. So there's a track inside the door, which if you can see right here a little bit, Um, and then the, the other track on the other side just goes straight down into the door. So I'm just trying to make sure everything stays in the track without, without breaking my window. should be in the track right now and now I'm dropping the window down and I'm mating it up down here with these these clip holes just like that you can see the two holes there and then I'm gonna screw them in and then these you can see the screws are actually going to be compressing the metal bracket against the plastic pieces and not the window. That's in there tight right now. And door handle again we go over this and it's not tight inside but just to show you that now my window can you back up a little bit now my window is moving okay, there you go so obviously nothing's tight you gotta tighten everything up but um, that's it so I'm gonna I'm gonna tighten these things up now and uh, not bore you with filming that we have the window cap here that fits inside here this um, metal bracket piece mates with this bracket piece that's inside here the, the, the one inside the door fits inside of this, like that, and then it goes all the way up to this point here. It butts up to that, so then it, it stops right there, and, uh, and it, so I'll just put that in there right now. So you can see it's mated inside there, and you push it down. It doesn't actually touch the metal here, so don't force things and hit it with hammers and stuff. And if you look on the other side of the door, you can see it's, it's flush right, right there. There you go. Put the screw. Inside here, on my Jeep, this was a, there's no screw hole there, but there was one that it looks like a screw hole, but there's nothing to screw into. Um, so there's this, there's one there, and there are two on the outside, one, two, that I just put in there. And now that that is in there, we can just put the track in uh, with your fingers. Just kind of jam it in there. And by the way, when I was getting this track out, it's harder to get it out than it is to get it in. That was pretty easy. So the window now is uh, in place. It rolls all the way up. And as you can see, I'm moving this. This is loose. I left everything a little bit loose, just, uh, just so there's play in case anything didn't fit perfectly. And I will tighten those up. And then now it's, it's solid on there. While the door is open here, not that I need to tell people what they could do, but you could, um, you know, spray some uh, some lubricant on anything that that needs it, that moves. Like this is the door handle right there, just to make sure everything is moving nice. Whatever you want to spray. Inside the door here, this track since it's moving on here, I was just gonna, you know, lubricate that inside the track right there. Just so. It moves a little, a little smoother. My window is actually having a hard time moving. I don't know who else is just having a hard time. Alright. It's running like a lot. That's, that's, that's a lot smoother right now. Okay. I'm going to put the door back on here. And my door is in, uh, covers in bad shape. Ignore that. And these, these um, pins here are supposed to fit into the pins here. And uh, these broke on my door a while ago. But... That doesn't matter for this. And then there's a hole here, pin here, pin here. So you just gotta make sure those pins fit into place. And then your screw holes that go into the door are little Torx screws. Torx is the little six uh, six pinned or, or um, 
It's got like six little edges like a little star. Once you put the door cover on, this goes inside there like that and it passes through like that and these door handles have a metal piece inside for strength and they butt up against this. The screws go into here and they actually go into this bracket. They don't go in the metal because it will pass through. So make sure that you have your bracket here installed on the door and it goes like this. This, this uh, The tubular piece goes in the back like that. And then that's all there is to that. And then this would go on here behind the door and then screw in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece in here and this piece in here before I put the door on. The reason is, is because if you put the door on and you try to shove this piece in here after the door is on, you could shove this piece on accident and then pop this bracket right off. And then you have to take your door cover back off and get that. So um, ask me how I learned that. You put this door cover on, there's this, um, this channel here, this, um, this edge that has to slot inside the door and it's kind of curved into the, the door panel a little bit so you have to make sure that that sits in there and ignore my busted up door panel. And then to get this seated in here you may have to get a screwdriver inside here so it fits inside the channel like that. There we go. Without the door panel fully attached, I'm going to pop these in here so I don't knock that bracket off and then push it against the door and now I should be able to screw right in that bracket without knocking it inside the door. I'm trying to put the door handle on, the window handle on and then putting the pin in is a pain. If you just pop the pin back into the, the slot. like that, you put the cap back on there, the door handle goes into the cap and it just pops on, the, the, the cotter, or the, the pin will just pop back onto the track. So now it's on there, and so the door, the door works, the window works, everything's good. Here you go.